ultra right wing. It's 11.41. Richard's in Jerusalem. Richard, what's going on? Hi, James. Uh, I have to say I really don't understand exactly what's the big deal about. I mean, I've, I've, it's not the first time he's ever said anything like that. It's not the second time he repeats that all and over again. In fact, when you first declared the topic, I thought to myself, what tweet? Uh, and kept like looking online. Is there something special? I think that's because you live in Jerusalem and, and I live in London. So, I mean, it, it jumped out at me from my Twitter feed this morning. I'm perfectly happy to, to, to um, accept that it's not remarkable for him at all. But it's remarkable for me because I've never seen it before. So tell me why it's utterly well, unremarkable. The weak, and I'll just remind you of the exact words, the weak crumble, are slaughtered and are erased from history while the strong, for good or for ill, survive. And the consensus from our callers, which you're free to challenge, is that he's casting Israel as being the strong now rather than the weak. Well, no, not exactly. Let me put it this way. What he's saying is that Israel must be strong because peace will only be made with the strong part. If mm. you're weak, they will stamp over you in the Middle East. Yes. Now, he's not saying at all. I don't know how you got to it that he's saying that we will challenge or we will kill the weak. That's not at all what... what no, I know. He, he just said it would happen. You got not, to not, that. Well, because he said the weak crumble are slaughtered and are erased from history while the strong for good or ill survive. I and mean, it's not a massive leap from that to conclude that he means the weak crumble are slaughtered and are erased from history while the strong for good or for ill survive. He's describing the situation as it is now. Yes. As it is now in the Middle East. This is not Switzerland. So who are the weak now in the Middle East? Not the first time. Who are the weak now in the Middle East? Then? He's he's saying we should not become the weak as as Israel was. No, he just said he was describing the situation now, not not the future. So who are the weak currently in the Middle no, East? He's de he is describing he's describing the situations of minorities in small countries that are unable to protect themselves. So who who in the Middle East at the moment is the weak? Israel is not weak. I've never claimed that Israel is weak. It didn't shoot. No, I'm, I'm asking who is. Never what I said. I'm asking who is because you stated that this was a, a description of the modern um, situation no, in in the Middle East. So who is the weak? That is a description. That is a description of how weaks are treated in the Middle East. Yeah. So who Whether are the weak in the Middle East? Group and an it could be the Yazidians. It could be the Kurds. It could be pretty much anyone that's really inferior in terms of military power. Right. And who has now, the greatest the military the power? That what he said it. Who's the strong man? If you'll allow me, James. If you'll allow me, what he was what he was trying to say is that. Why are you doing it again? Why why can't you focus on what he actually said instead of what you wish he had said? We can have an argument about what you think he was trying to say, but I'm seeking to understand what he actually did say. So, under your own vocabulary and analysis, we've established some of the people that could be construed as weak in the current Middle Eastern context. Who who could be realistically and reasonably described as the strong? I, I, I don't understand why you don't understand my answer. I gave you the answer. The answer is that he's describing how weaks are treated in the Middle East. Yes, and, this is why and that's why I asked, who are the weak in the Middle East? All right, let's just do it in the context of Israel-Palestine. Israel, who's, strong, who's strong, who's weak? Of course Israel is a stronger military power. So if you were Palestinian and you, and you heard the Prime Minister of the Strong say that the weak crumble are slaughtered and are erased from history, can, how would you feel? Can I feel? get a word in edgewise? As long as you answer the questions can I, I ask. Can I get a word in edgewise? Because uh, so what, what question did I just ask? Over and over. What question did I just ask? You asked me who is the strong and who is the weak, and I'm trying to tell you that he makes a bigger point, which relates to one of the other tweets that you've also mentioned that he made, which is said that we're seeing an alliance with, with Arab countries that we've never saw before. He's absolutely right, and there's a reason for it, and it has to do with the original tweet that you were talking about. It has to do with the fact that Israel is becoming a military, well, it's not becoming, it has been for a very long time, a military power. And this goes back to a point that I've been trying to make for a very long time, that in general, when two people or two countries fight between one another for decades, it never comes because some liberal comes from Europe and gives them the idea oh, that and they say, oh, we never thought about that. Yes. Let's, let's, let's try that for a second. It only comes after one side realizes that they conceded that they've lost. And, and they've, the they've crumbled, they've been slaughtered, and, and, they won. and they're close to being erased from history. I, I, I think I've understood everything you said. I, I suspect that's what you're so upset about. Hello, I'm a...